you gotta believe in physics. Welcome to Inertia Lab. Newton Pass Law is amazing. Newton Pass Law has three parts. Part one, object at rest, like to stay at rest. We call it inertia. The second part, object in motion, like to stay in motion. We often call it momentum because P is equal to MB. The third part of Newton Pass Law is unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. So we're gonna try to understand all three parts of Newton Law by using this lab. So what I have is a glass, a ring, and a pink object sitting on the ring. There are two forces acting on this, and I'm gonna draw these two forces. I'm gonna call before I'm going to have the object, this pink object sitting on the, on, the, on the ring. This is the pink object. Two forces acting on this. Gravitational force. Another force acting on it, normal force. So there is no acceleration because there is no net force. Why there is no net force? Because Fn minus Mz, Fn minus Fz is equal to zero. Since there is no net force, there is no acceleration. If there is no net force, there is no acceleration. Okay, so then the object is rest. So we explain why the object is rest. Object is rest because there is no acceleration. There is no acceleration because there is no net force. Now we're gonna make things even more interesting. We're gonna examine Newton's second part of the first law. Object in motion likes to stay in motion in a straight line. We're gonna investigate whether that's true by removing the ring. If we can remove the ring abruptly, then object will start falling. Object will start falling, why? So let's write after. In fact, object will be in free fall. If we can remove this ring, then object will be in free fall. Why object will be in free fall? No unbalanced force. That means the net force would be positive. Why the net force would be positive? Because the normal force, there would be no source of normal force. If I can remove this ring abruptly, then there is no upward force. No upward force means no normal force. No normal force means there is only one force acting on that. And that would be only gravitational force downward. We call it unbalanced force. An unbalanced force causes results acceleration. And Newton tells us that object in motion accelerates at the direction of the force acting on it. So since it is downward force, the object will move downward in a straight line. Let's investigate that. We have six graphs to understand it further. A DT graph for object in free fall. The pink object was in free fall. The displacement versus time graph. So let's first do the displacement versus time gap. We started from a height. Okay, there was a height over here. You saw that pink object was sitting height above the ground. All right. So it's parabolic. 
we want to take the absolute value of this one. Absolute value of this one will be distance versus time. So this is the absolute value of this one. Now we're going to find the slope of this one, or we're going to take the derivative of this one. The derivative of this one will be this. Because when you drop something, the velocity is zero. Zero velocity. Just before it hit the ground, there is a maximum velocity. And this is the maximum velocity. Okay. We want to take the absolute value of this one. If you take the absolute value of this one, we're going to take the slope of this one or derivative of this one. The derivative of this one is, and the derivative of this one is this. Okay, even if you don't understand calculus, it's very pretty, pretty simple. The absolute value of this one is this. The absolute value of this one is this. The absolute value of this one is this. Okay. This and this, they are the same story. They are the same story. But telling from different perspectives. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.